Hi all, welcome to the video lectures of uh, Nano Electronics. So this is the part 4 of uh, module 5. In this session, uh, we will discuss about Ahanobaum effect. Sometimes it is referred to as AB effect. In the earlier classes, uh, we discussed that uh, we can change, we can alter the basic electrical characteristics of nanostructures by applying external magnetic field. The magnetic fields can produce and control the interference effects between the electrons in nanolayers. In order to observe these interference effects between a different electron waves, their phase has to be sustained or the phase has to be maintained. So the Ahano and Bohm, these visits, uh, observe that the total amplitude of electron waves at a certain point oscillates periodically with respect to the magnetic flux enclosed by the two paths due to the interference effect. The Ahano Bohm effect is uh, observed in ballistic transport regions. So, what is a ballistic transport region? Consider a channel. Uh, the ch uh, channel length is less than mean free path, there will not be any scattering. So, what is a mean free path? Mean free path is nothing but the average distance between two successive collisions of electrons. If the transport region is ballistic, there will not be any scattering. So, Hanno and Bohm proposed that an electron wave in a solid has a phase factor uh, which can be controlled by an, uh, by an external magnetic field. Uh, this is the experimental setup uh, for the observation of uh, this AB effect. Uh, it consists of a metallic ring. Look at the figure. It consists of a metallic uh, ring. Uh, the diameter around 800 nanometer. It is made up of uh, metallic wire. And the thickness is around uh, 50 nanometer. So it is a nano structure. So the electron waves uh, comes uh, from the waveguide to the left terminal are split into two waves of equal amplitudes split into two equal amplitudes uh, these two waves go around the two halves of the ring that is through the upper arm and through the lower arm one part uh, will go through the upper arm the other part will go through the lo lower arm finally uh, they leave it through the right terminal that is through the port Q. If the region is a ballistic region uh, during this electron moment uh, there will not be any collision. Okay so consider this as a ballistic region. Now assume a small solenoid uh, carrying a magnetic flux phi is positioned inside the ring and it is concentric. Okay we are applying a magnetic flux so the overall anyway the overall current through this structure from uh, left port p to q well uh, depends upon the relation between length of the uh, rings that is length of the ring arms upper arm and lower arm also it will depends upon the current will depends upon the inelastic uh, mean free path of the electrons in the ring material so if the region is ballistic there will not be any collision here the capital A there is a magnetic vector potential that is in this direction the vector potential capital A of uh, the magnetic field passing through the ring uh, that is in uh, perpendicular to the plane hence the electrons traveling in either arms through the upper arm or through the lower arm will experience a phase change again uh, look into this uh, figure uh, the electron waves amplitudes are split into two two equal parts one is going through this direction through this upper arm and the other equal part is going through this direction the k vector look at the k direction which shows the uh, direction of uh, electron movement and capital a that's a vector potential so uh, the movement that can be uh, parallel to the magnetic vector 
parallel to the vector potential or it can be anti parallel look here it can be anti parallel or parallel that can that means it can be uh, generative or degenerative as a result uh, there is a difference in phases of the electrons waves coming to the exit port from the different amps from the right uh, from the upper and from the lower and there will be interference uh, and there will be phase change due to the application of magnetic field so there is a, a difference in the phases of the electron waves uh, coming to the exit port from the different arms so the change in phase is given by the equation this equation is important delta phi is equal to 2 pi uh, phi divided by uh, phi naught this phi naught is the original phase of the electron uh, wave function so phi naught is given as h by small e we can also calculate the change in phase phase vector as, as e by h cut then uh, from p to q that is line integral uh, p to q a dot ds a is the vector potential uh, since electron uh, waves are passing through two amps that is uh, through the upper amp and through the lower amp the change in phase can be uh, calculated as e by h cut then uh, through the lower arm, uh, line integral lower arm a dot ds difference minus line integral upper arm a dot ds. So lower arm and upper arm that is a circle that is given as e by h cut line integral circle a dot ds. So uh, due to the application of external magnetic field, a periodic modulation in the transverse conductance that is a resistance of the ring uh, by the magnetic uh, by the magnetic field uh, which is known as the magnetic ahano bohm effect or ab effect so look at this uh, graph uh, in this x axis is magnetic field b and y axis which shows the transverse uh, modulation in transverse conductance that is a resistance so there will be fluctuations or oscillations uh, with respect to the magnetic field so an important aspect of AB effect is the observation uh, uh, that a variation in phase can be induced by uh, changing the external magnetic field. And uh, especially the AB effect is observed in uh, nanostructures, especially in the ballistic region. So it's a very important question, uh, very important topic, the Hanno. Boom effect. Okay, thank you.